Madly. Madly. That's, that's not even in my vocabulary and I'm pretty sure she's a similar age to me. So after the fourth live has been held about me today, just that I've seen discussing what we'll call Maggie Gate, I'm just going to address it very quickly. Now, the other night I stayed up, it was about 3 a.m. There was me and a group of my friends. I tried Maggie uh, Magnums for the first time. I drank three of them. I haven't actually been drunk for over two and a half years. I got mad lit and I literally said some things that have seemed to have secondary outraged people. Although the people I actually was talking to and the people in the room I had a really good night and there was no problems at all. Now, yes, I did get a little bit like 50 cent. One minute I was a gangster, the next minute I wanted many men. But do you know what? It literally was harmless adult fun instead of true crime all the time. And it was done really late at night. And the same people are like, oh my God, this is a 13 over app. It was 3 a.m. Yet you're playing back the whole lives now at dinner time and this morning at like 10 a.m. and going in on how children shouldn't be seeing it, but you're replaying it. It's like absolutely mad. Like I've got nothing to be sorry for. I had a couple of Magnums, got a bit Larry, and that's it. Like that's it. The people that I said the comments to that you're all so outraged by, are my friends who have we have mad banter there was no problems and the other things i said which were apparently threatening they weren't threatening anyone in particular i was just laughing and having a joke was it poor humor absolutely i literally was smashed is that an excuse no i'm an adult when i own it 100 percent. it's me in the clips me that said it but off the back of that you've held many hate lives today got other people up in the box dragged my character it goes on and on and on everyone's looking for an excuse to try and bring down Haley comet and it's weird now like, so there you go. There's my side of the story. It was one night and you're going to cling on to it. No one mentioned it till yesterday until things needed to be covered up on the app today. Then all of a sudden I'm the worst person in the world. At this time, I'm going to have to ask AR if I can take the most hated title. So there it is. There's a, um, an excuse for... Well, she didn't really apologise, did she really, to be honest, because she didn't see anything wrong with it. There's a couple of people who have got some questions in the chat, so I'm going to address those questions, because that's only fair. Okay, so, Mags, Mags, if what she said's that bad, why play it again and again and again? Right, I didn't play it again and again and again, I played it once, okay, at 7 o'clock last night, right, okay? She had a great live last night. People are trying to bring it down. It's called awareness. The only reason I spoke about it is because it's called awareness. Exactly. You can't take, like, literally can't take one on a high ground and then do that. Do you know what I mean? No, I'm sorry. It doesn't wash with me. Now, it's called awareness, right? If this, say for example, this wasn't Hayley Comet. Say this was Pearl. Say this was Angie. Say this was Bish Red. Say it was anybody else that we see on the FYP regularly that we talk about. And they did something like this. This would be all over the FYP and people would be talking about it and talking about it. And we'd be expecting them to take accountability. There's no excuse for this, right? Right? There's no excuse. Alcohol is not an excuse. Rugs are not an excuse. Nothing is an excuse for the stuff that she said. Now, I believe... Scouse, where did you get the original clip yesterday from? I got it from Alex's live because he was playing it. So I believe, right? And I'm going to repeat... Going to repeat what, what was said only very slightly in a way that it's it you sort of think you it. But Scouse, she's allowed to make a mistake and have a drink. Nobody said that. Nobody said she's not allowed to have a drink. Nobody said she's not allowed to make mistakes. But if you think saying that she's going to go to somebody's pe relatives' houses and light the house up, that she's going to go to people's houses. And light the house up. That's 
Do you know what I mean? She also threatened to use a kitchen utensil on somebody's head. She's also threatened to go and get a, a weapon and use it, a very specific type of weapon. Okay? And when I said she's in a safe house herself as well, which is very dangerous, okay? And I'm not playing it again. That's not excusable, I'm sorry. It's not excusable. Right, I said, you just said rugs aren't an excuse. She doesn't do rugs, right? I've just said, right? I said rugs as an example, okay? Never said. Never, ever, 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 ever said that she was on rugs. She, she was quite literally, she was lit. I can't believe I just said that. But in her own words, she was lit. When she said them, would you be saying this if this was Angie? Would you be excusing Angie if this was Angie? No. Literally cringe. Cringe. I've just said that. I can't believe I've just said that. I don't care whether it's a one-off or not, have the same standards. Have the same standards for Angie and have them for everybody else. It's as simple as that and stay respectful. If it was a man saying it, there would be uproar. Now we are going to move on to some more, some more content from Hayley. And this is not with any hate. This is not with any hate. This is just me highlighting and having the same standards. Having the same standards for everybody, okay? For everybody. And if you don't like that, you know where the X is. You can quite happily leave. My life is unbiased and my life, I'm impartial. If I'm going to be impartial and unbiased and down the line, I have to stick to that. Regardless of whether it's someone well likes or not. Okay? So, we've got some more videos regarding Hayley. Okay? Let me see. We're not going to play that one because we already went through that. So we've got that one as well there. And I only wanted to play a video because I wanted to give her a bit of an, um, you know, to be fair, to play her apology. Well, not apology. So where's the other video to do with Hayley? I'm just checking that there's no more. There's that one which we'll play in a minute. There's that one. There's this one. What's this one? That's not one, right? Okay, so we'll start with this one. Hayley Comet discusses exactly what's been going on with her, Tenerife, Tom and Del Mac. So, I've got no idea who, who Del Mac is or Tenerife. I've known a little bit about Tenerife, Tom, but not a lot. So, I'm going to mute. Bear, bearing in mind, this is not the first time that she's done something out of, out, like, that. That is questionable. Thank you, Rio, for the heart. Me, thank you, Moon and Metal. This is not the first time that Haley's done something questionable, okay? And we will get into that too. Look, I, I have been the main focus of Tenerife Tom or Richard Kenworthy's shit, yeah? And I have never ever looked into his family, yeah? I have not got my team to look into his social media profiles, who his friends are, who his family are, because it would go beyond what I'm asking him not to do to me. So, like, I've just got on with my crime life, done my stuff, I'm not really worried about it. He's out there now. People know who he is behind that behaviour. That was enough for me. Um, but to do this is, is it's, it's, it's horrific. Yeah. So, for anyone who wants a quick update, so... Del Mac announced today in a video that he was going to leave TikTok, but he was going to leave TikTok, putting everything out on the table. And then all of a sudden he was live. I was on the phone and someone was like, 
Dale Max just leaked loads of voice notes, and I was like, of me? Like, I don't think he's got voice notes of me. And so I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll sort it out in a minute. It must be someone else. And then I get a message from Exposed, like, did you know that Del Mac has just leaked voice notes of Tenerife Tom's wife talking about a horrific abuse her and the children have been through, that he's, she's asked him not to do it, to, uh, like, not to share them with anyone. So I jumped into Exposed Box quickly, just like, this has got nothing to do with me. I didn't even know. I knew nothing like this was going to happen. Then I've gone and listened to the voice notes. And the voice notes are absolutely horrific. It's a woman saying, like, the worst things that have happened to can I just say I don't agree with that? I don't agree with that, sorry. I don't agree with what she's um about what Tenerife Tom's apparently gonna do. Like if someone's told you not to talk about it, don't do it. Do you know what I mean? Have some common decency and respect. And especially if it's your husband or your wife or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your other half to her in, in a marriage and she's saying like please don't share these voice notes and he's gone live anyway and said i'm gonna play them because i want people to hear them and it's for the greater good and he's completely disregarded the fact that the woman and these th three children are now in danger he's he's the voice notes include all three of the children's names the woman's name and where she works and they what? play them what? where she works yeah Kiddo. And then he said, he's literally done that. And he said, well, I'm leaving TikTok now. And who do you think is going to pay for that? This guy. And it's just literally like, it's, which has got nothing to do with me. Why? Right. If this has got nothing, now we shouldn't have played them at all, Mickey. I agree. I agree with you there. If she's got nothing to do with this situation, then why is she sat there going... Oh, um, who's going to get to blame me? If you know that you've got nothing to do with this situation, what Del Mac has done shouldn't bother you unless you have the hand in it. Unless you have a hand in it, then you shouldn't be worried about it. That's just my opinion, okay? Let me know. Let me know, guys. It's Miss Fluent, Elma. Exactly, but why is she sitting there saying, who's going to get the blame? Me. If you're not involved, you've got nothing to worry about. That's how I see it. And maybe this is why she's got to be so careful. I'm not blaming her. I'm not blaming her. Have I sat there and said this is on Haley? No. I've said what was said was wrong. It's as simple as that. Me as a person. Me as a person. If that was me. If that was me. I wouldn't be worrying about people twisting things to make a, name, make a statement on me. This is Del Mac's fault. Not Haley's. I've said that. Now, I said, if she's not no involvement, why is she saying it's all going to go back to her? Now you're doing, you are twisting my words now. And I don't like that. Then that's it. That's, that's an issue that she's got to sort. People aren't going to like you. Not everybody's going to like you. Now, please don't twist my words because you're doing exactly what you're accusing me of doing to Haley. so stop. But the other person, the other people who are the real victims in this are the woman and these three children who have fled domestic abuse, are halfway through a court process against him and now may never get justice because of these voice notes, which his lawyer could use against her in the courtroom. Like, they're, they're did she say on the court? Where did I say, oh, where did I say she, sh she can't talk about it? Where did I say she can't talk about it? And I'm, and I'm, that's what I've said. Where have I said she shouldn't talk about it? Where have I blamed Hayley? I've said if she 
has got no reason to be worried about the Del Mac voice note situation and she's not got any involvement in it, then why is she sat there saying, oh, I'll get the blame? Take it out of the room. If you've got an issue with me, take it out of the room. If you've got an issue with anybody else, take it out of the room and address it. That's not what I meant. See what I mean? That's not what I meant. People twist people's words all the time on this app. Oh, that he played, that not to um, <laughs> share it. He said himself several times she oh. didn't want to play these. So Becky, the reason I think I'll be blamed is because Tenerife Tom hates me and anything that gets leaked is always my fault even though I'm no part of it at all, I don't even speak to these people. I never Can I just say, what about the people who have lost people to house fires and she made that joke on Saturday night? She was she made she made that joke, made that threat. What about the people who have had lost people in house fires? I know, and you're more than welcome to have a different opinion. What about the people in the house fires that she was going to find? If people come for someone called Kiki, that she was going to find their relatives, right? And no matter where they are, she'd find them. Okay, thank you, Kiki. And no matter where they are, she's going to find them and she's going to light their houses up. Yes, they are allowed an opinion, Alicia. People are being rude. Yes, that's what she said. There are people who have seen that and have lost people to how to, to that sort of trauma. Drinking is not an excuse. I'm sorry, you don't sit there and say, oh, she was drunk. Oh, she was drunk. That's not an excuse. Sorry. Thank you, Casmarie. I know that's the truth. That is the truth. It's not a joke. No one deserves to be doxxed. No one deserves to be threatened. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I am offended by what I, what, I, what she said. And that's my right. I've had someone come in this live yesterday. Right? Somebody come in this live yesterday, right? And they'd lost people to their houses being on fire. Trigger warning. I had someone come in this live and tell me how how they felt after this. Okay? So just take it. Take your opinion and look at it in a different light. Okay? I can't believe that people are on this app excusing it. I'm sorry. That's how I feel, and that's my right to feel that way. And if you don't like it, you know where the X is. And it's as simple as that. Never ever would have agreed or even knew about beforehand and let it slide this to another woman when I live in a refuge. It would never have happened. And the fact that it has happened, I was shocked. Like, I didn't know any of this, and it was kept for me for a reason. Because right, I'm going to rewind the video and go and get my own drink, and I'll be back, okay? Please keep the comments respectful. If you be disrespectful, hateful, or derogatory, you will be muted and booted out of this live. Opinions are allowed, but you have to be respectful. My opinion is what you said was wrong, okay? You're allowed in a different opinion. It's as simple as that. Look, I, I have been the main focus of Tenerife Tom or Richard Kenworthy's shit, yeah? And I have never, ever looked into his family art. I have not got my team to look into his social media profiles, who his friends are, who his family are, because it would go beyond what I'm asking him not to do to me. So, like, I've just got on with my crime life, done my stuff, but not really worried about it. He's out there now. People know who he is behind that behaviour. That was enough for me. Um, but to do this is, is it's, it's, it's horrific. Yeah. So, for anyone who wants a quick update, so, Del Mac announced today in a video that he was going to leave TikTok, but he was going to leave TikTok, putting everything out on the table. And then, all of a sudden, he was live. I was on the phone, and someone was like, 
Del Max just leaked loads of voice notes, and I was like, of me? I don't think he's got voice notes of me. And so I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll sort it out in a minute. It must be someone else. And then I get a message from Exposed, like, did you know that Del Mac has just leaked voice notes of Tenerife Tom's wife talking about a horrific abuse her and the children have been through, that he's, she's asked him not to do it, to, uh, like, not to share them with anyone? So I jumped into Exposed Box quickly, just like, this has got nothing to do with me. I didn't even know. I knew nothing like this was going to happen. Then I've gone and listened to the voice notes. And the voice notes are absolutely horrific. It's a woman saying, like, the worst things that have happened to her in, in a marriage. And she's saying, like, please don't share these voice notes. And he's gone live anyway and said, I'm going to play them because I want people to hear them. And it's for the greater good. And he's completely disregarded the fact that the woman and these three children are now in danger. He's, he's, the voice notes include all three of the children's names, the woman's name and where she works. And they what? play them. And can I just say, right, can I just say that I'm not excusing what Del Mac has done. What Del Mac has done by going behind somebody's back and saying, oh, um, you know, leaking these voice notes and leaking this information when his partner's asked him not to do it. Absolutely wrong. Absolutely disgusting. But I'm not blaming her for that. And I'm not. I don't agree with doxing either. If you've doxed people, it's wrong. Sorry. Nobody should have done it. That should have been kept private. Okay? Exactly like Donna's just said, please keep it respectful. If you've got issues with anybody else, take it out of the live. It's as simple as that. I don't know who muted Alicia. Why was Alicia muted? Was she rude? Only mute if they're rude, okay, please, guys. I, I know my mods know what to do. She's made to Del Mac, is she? Okay. I wasn't rude, okay. I didn't mute. Alicia, this is your final warning, okay? Don't go for anybody in the chat. Don't go right. If you want to mute her, just, just mute her again, please, because I'm not having that. Sorry. I haven't seen Del Max video. You're not coming for my mods, I'm sorry, but they're doing a the job. I'm not out people I will not I will mute whoever I want. And my mods will mute whoever they want as well. Add bun to the block list, guys. So play that and then there's a video. Where's this one? There's another video somewhere. It's gone. We've played that one. Where's it gone? Am I just being blind? There we go. No, there, there. Canadian Angie unboxes, discuss Haley comments after Del Mac exposes everything before he left. So well, was Del Mac working with, 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 with Haley to get Tenerife Tom? Yes, but then Haley says they were going too far, so she left. The oh, for crying out! Wow, she did. She said, "Bun one of me mods. This room is a safe space. If you're gonna have a beef with someone, take it out of the live. Inbox them. Inbox them. She literally went for one of my mods." No, she didn't. She said Bun Donna because Donna was the one who muted her. Take the issue out of the live, Alicia. Message Donna. Message Donna, my mod, and take it up with Donna. Okay? Be nice or go. It's, it's not hard. No, she did Oh, my God. Are people just stop listening? You're not coming in this room to, to start picking apart my moderators. 
Sorry. Now, either be respectful. Either be respectful or get out. You can have an opinion or you can get out to your point. Them, but she's still going to get the blame of it anyway. That was her words of the night. But because he said he's leaving the app, he outed everything about Tannery Tom's ex partner who left him through a DV. So right, can I just say one thing, okay? If I if I was bi biased and if I was um, not impartial, I wouldn't be covering this. I wouldn't be talking about it. But because I am being impartial and I am unbiased. I'm talking about it. I get shit for not for not talking about it. I get shit for talking about it. So do you know what? I'll do the right thing and I'll stick by my guns. I'll stick by my morals and talk about it. Simple. And I repeat, if you cannot be respectful in this chat and you're constantly going to be going for anyone, right? No, 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 no. Let's not get it twisted, okay? People have been muted for a reason. People are being muted for a reason because people are not being respectful. It's not because they're sticking up for Alicia. It's because they're being bloody rude. And I don't, ex I don't allow it. I don't allow it. It's as simple as that. Because I'm being impartial. I didn't block anybody. People were rude to me and my mod. Do you really expect me to have a safe space? And allow people to talk to people in the chat and be like that? No. Absolutely not. It's not on. Take your arguments up in an inbox page. Inbox me instead of doing it on a live. I've said it every single time. If you're not going to respect that, then you can get out. This is the rules. You weren't even in here, pagey baby. It was a fella trying to phone the police. To try and get that girl, um, get a thing checked on on her to make sure she was okay, and to let her know that it was all leaked all over the internet. This is getting absolutely ridiculous now. This is getting absolutely ridiculous now. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous now. Moderators. People who are in here regularly, what's my rules? What do I say every single time I come live? What do I say every single time I come live? And if you've got personal beef, where do I tell people to go with the personal beef? Where do I tell people to go to a personal be a be beef? Have opinions with respect. Have opinions with respect. Take your personal beef outside of the room because it's not allowed. It's as simple as that. If you've got a personal problem with me, inbox me, okay? We're not having a back and forth in this room. This is my room. I run it how I see fit, okay? Yeah. Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed, Katie.
Mm -hmm. So. Well, you're not getting an apology, so that's it and done with. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if someone could have a look at this, it's called Looking About, and it's called, and she's at Posting Creators, and it's the first video. If you can play that, I understand a little. Bit. I'm not playing that video because the voice notes are in it. Let's move on. Because we've got somebody else who has had a problem with, with Hayley Comet before and she's talking about that this genuine situation um, that happens, the general situation. Um, so this was posted 18 hours ago, which was yesterday. And we're going to play it. Joanne, who's Joanne? forget the way you come into my live yesterday airing and blaring i muted you because i was talking and you kept on muting yourself so i ended up booting you because you were being disrespectful if you don't like my live leave the live yes i did i can go where i want So currently, there's a lot of uproar about the screen record of the live stream. Because you're coming into my comments and you're being disrespectful. You're trying to rile me up. I'm not stupid. Because I can. Because if this was somebody else, then you would be all talking about it. You'd be dragging them. You will be dragging them through the mud. You would be. There. Now I can focus. Comments are off for now while we're talking about this because people are being disrespectful. This is my life. I do what I want, I say what I want, I'm respectful as I can be. If you come at me and be disrespectful, I'm going to be disrespectful back and I'm going to beat you from the live. I said apologies because I'm not normally like that. You've come in again today and started on me because you think that your friend got muted for no reason. Your friend was being rude and disrespectful to one of my friends and one of my moderators. If you think I'm going to let that happen in my live to one of my moderators, you've got another thing coming coming okay now you can have your opinion i've already said it you can have your opinion as long as you are respectful you can stay in this room if you are going to be horrible then you're not allowed in here sorry that's the way it's always been with a certain creator. Some people are absolutely disgusted and other people are accusing others of being stupid. Now I just want to explain, in my opinion, why it's inappropriate and why others are deemed to be inappropriate as well. I know people are saying much worse gets said and done on TikTok, so why the witch hunt? And I agree, it completely does. But people are comparing the likes of this creator to other creators, such as my cousin, Eva Queen, Mama Cars, Pearl, Angie, love a name drop. Love you all, no sides. However, said creator is a true crime creator and what she was alluding to on that live stream was criminal behaviour. This crime content creator may have people who follow her who she's previously advocated for or may follow her because they've been through a similar crime. By engaging in such a way on her platform and making them remarks could be extremely triggering to that community. And everybody does have the right to their personal life off screen. But if you're going to build your community on the premises of true crime, it's your responsibility to conduct your platform in a certain type of way. I personally don't agree with any type of witch hunt, but I think this is more about awareness and victims of said person coming forward and just having enough. Where is the self-accountability? Where is the reflection? And where was my apology because I think I got that lost in the post. So currently there's a lot of uproar about the screen record of the live stream. 
with a certain creator. Some people are absolutely disgusted and other people are accusing others of being snowflakes. Now I just want to explain, in my opinion, why it's inappropriate and why others are deeming it to be inappropriate as well. I know people are saying much worse gets said and done on TikTok, so why the witch hunt? And I agree, it completely does. But people are comparing the likes of this creator to other creators, such as my cousin, Eva Queen, Mama Kaz, Pearl, Angie, love a name drop. Love you all, no sides. However, said creator is a true crime creator, and what she was alluding to on that live stream was criminal behaviour. This crime content creator may have people who follow her, who she's previously advocated for, or may follow her because they've been through a similar crime. By engaging in such a way on her platform and making them remarks could be extremely triggering for that community. And everybody does have the right to their personal life off screen. But if you're going to build your community on the premises of true crime, it's your responsibility to conduct your platform in a certain type of way. I personally don't agree with any type of witch hunt, but I think this is more about awareness and victims of said person coming forward and just having enough. Where is the self accountability? Where is the reflection? And where was my apology? Because I think I got that lost in the post. So currently. So, basically, what happened here? I don't know. I think it was over a year ago. Something happened with Becca where Haley called it an M word that rhymes with wrong. Okay? Becca has never had an apology for that. Not one apology off Haley. Okay? And I played this video because she has spoke out about what happened over the weekend. Okay? And literally, you only get muted or blocked if you're rude or disrespectful. If you don't think that you're rude or disrespectful, then that's not my problem. Okay? That's a you problem. Okay? Now, we're going to move on and I'm going to put the comments back on. Um, there. Please keep it respectful. Hello, Lorraine. I hope you're okay. Like I said before, if I didn't talk about... If I spoke about this, if I left it right, the M word, I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. If I had not spoke about the Haley situation, I was I haven't picked I have never picked Haley up, so what? Can I, can I finish? I'm going to mod you, Lorraine. Because somebody's demodded, so. If I hadn't have spoke about this situation, I would have been biased. And it's the microphone, I'm so sorry, guys. I would have been biased and I would have been, um... You know, I would be seen to be a certain type of way, right? But because... Oh, fucking hell. Was it? <sighs> it was Lorraine I was going to mod, wasn't it? There we go. So if I hadn't have spoke on this situation I would have been biased if I speak 
on the situation. I get shit for it. I get shit for it if I, do, if I don't speak for it. I get shit for it if I do speak for it. So I might as well get shit for speaking about what I think is right. I'll message her. Um, I'll message her. So yeah, that's as far as like. Ugh. I'm just ignoring it. Right, what are we going to next? Um, so we'll go on to the loose of Angie. Angie makes an announcement that her name is now trademark and apparently can't be used by anybody. Been trademarked. I think she's on her way home. <laughs> Anyone now is using my name, there could be illegal um, consequences for doing that. But out of all the trademarks. Oh, she's on her way home, so Matt Hatton. Matt Hatton. Been trademarked. I think she's on her way home. <laughs> Anyone now is using my name, there could be illegal um, consequences for doing that. But of all the trademarks, Oh, she's on her way home, Matt Hatton. Matt Hatton. Been trademarked. I'm always muting myself! <laughs> Jesus. Take a shot every time I mute myself and start talking. Um, what was I going to say? Forgot. Well, I've lost track. I've completely lost track. I don't think she's trademarked the name. I don't. I really, really, really don't. Um... And please, can we stick to the conversation of the videos that are going on? If you've got any personal beef with anybody, take it out the live. It's as simple as that. I, don't, I know. I know. I know. But here we go. Have we got any other videos of Angie? She's just, oh, God. I hope not. I really, really hope not. Right, let me just check to see if I got any other videos of Angie. Oh, we've got Miss Red. I'm not going to play Miss Red though because. No, I will play Dave Durant We've got Matt Hatter and Mama Kaz. Um... Um... Oh, we've got Chronic Kiki. As well, I just want to check. I don't think I've got anything else. Oh, I know what I can play because I haven't played it yet. Where's it gone? There we go. Shit. Then, who were, um, fucking hell. Hey, God. Who else was in the fucking hive? Who else was in? Uh, Chester. No, there was me, Chester, Court Assassin, and... Oh, my dad's head. <laughs> my dad's head, yeah. yeah. So, it just basically kicked off. But they're right now. They're all right. Yeah. Court Assassin's in a ring, anyway. We've got the proper chat now. Uh, let's request it and find out what properly, what was going on. So, can I go out? 
called access. Called assassin, not live, not live, not live, not live. Oh, she must have gone off. I don't know what's happening. What have you been doing? Uh, she must be. I'm drinking a bloody bottle. For God's sake. No, I was just on live with Brit Boy. Who else do I go live with? Oh, get him back in. How many else are Oh, yeah. People were saying they were going because he, he was boring them. Oh, he's boring. I mean, get him if you want, but yeah, people were saying they were bored. Uh, no, right, let's have a look who else is on. Let's have a look. Uh, DLA's not on. I had a look to see who she was on. Uh, I'm trying to. Oh, fuck. People keep requesting. No, 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 sorry. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry, guys. They're saying, please not quit. Uh, no, let's have a look who's on. Oh, you don't like her, do you, Sugar Bliss? I don't dislike her or anything to be I just don't talk about it uh, to her, really. You don't talk to her. Yeah, let's be honest, you are. There's no, I've got no, there. no, no, no. Everybody's in battles. I'll let you request somebody. Oh, okay. Um, no, we're focused on Facebook. Huh? So we're focused on Facebook. Um, I think so, yeah. Okay, let's have a look. I don't, see, I don't really follow many people as you do, really. I don't know why. Um, Jack, I've requested him like three times and he didn't come. I think we just. It's quite early, though. It's only 7 past 7. Yeah. Beetlejuice is on. Yeah. Beetlejuice is on. Oh. Would bring Beetlejuice to TikTok of the night. Jack, like, you're all right. I'm good, thank you. Yeah. Can I ask you a question, Jack? My battles don't seem to work when it's a three way, I don't know why. Um, you know when you said that the uh, cult ter terrorised people, do you believe it? Oh, what? He was having a conversation with Ems, and you said that if you go for Delusive Angie, the cult, the, the, her trolls terrorise people. Oh, no, it's like any other team, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know, I thought it was funny. It's not it's like any, no, it's any other team sticking up for you. It's not just you, it's like my team. Your team will stick up for you. Yeah, that's, that, that's true, though. Hi, Izzy, are uh, you okay? We've got 50 subscriptions. Well, we've got over 50 subscriptions. We've got 60 now. 60 subscriptions. So yeah, do you think that um, Pearl and Angie are being treated? Or not Pearl and Angie? Are Pearl and Angie treating M's disrespectfully and horrible? Hello, Zia. Lots of love. Shall I hold you up to him? Yeah, that's exactly mother focus. Teams, cult sides are the issue. Do you think they were being disrespectful to M's? Shall we do a, a, a poll? <coughs> Excuse me. I know that it's like bananas and pajamas. Right, Alexa, play please. They're all as bad as each other. I agree, actually, Miss I don't give an F. I agree. Right. See ya! Are you still here? What on earth is this song? I've not heard it before. No, I don't either. Alexa, play on repeat playlist on Spotify. On repeat from Spotify. <laughs> I know, it's tit for tat. It's tit for tat. So, quick poll. Do you think that Pearl and Angie are being horrible to M's in this video? Smiley face, yes. Sad face, no. Beg you to stay, beg you to stay. Sometimes you're a stranger in my bed. Don't know if you love me or you want me dead. Push me away, push me away. opinion be honest in the, the in the polls okay honesty is what I want okay as long as you're being respectful
one bit. Is it? So very good to love. So I'm I'm busy. You know I'm not ignoring people. I'm busy. People can see that I'm busy. Never, 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 never let go. Right, guys. I'm moderator chat. Just give me a sec. So we've got 37 people who think they were being mean and 28 people who think they weren't. Stop ignoring the chat. Shh, Alex. Or you'll get yeeted as well. Um, why are you go busy if you're a bit... Oh, for fuck's sake. Right, so... I personally think that every, all of them, Angie, Bill, Ems, they're all as bad as each other. Personally. Okay? That's my opinion, right? And that's going to stay like that now. I have just been made aware of something, of someone's behaviour, okay? And I want to talk about that now. And I'm going to turn the music off and I'm going to go on around because this is something that I wasn't aware of, okay? I'm going to put a poll up. I want a trigger warning. You love everybody. No, don't block him! Why have you blocked Alex? He hasn't been rude. Leave him. As long as he's being respectful, leave him. He's on very thin ice. I know it wasn't you. I know who it was. He's on very thin ice. Leave him. Alexa, off. Right. Let me have a sip of my drink. It's fine, but please, as long as he's respectful, he can stay. The minute he steps out of line, he's out. Keeping it fair. Get to the bunker, guys, because I'm going to have a rant. Mm -hmm. He's on a very, very, very thin ice. I'm about to go on a rant. Okay? Um, is, is somebody stood by the bunker doors? Oh, sat some another Sally said hello to me before. I've just remembered. Everybody, Frankie, get the bunker doors open. Okay, so he can go up mods, but others can't. He didn't go for a mod. Did he go for a mod? One sec, let me check. Did he go for a mod? Because if he's gone for a mod, he can be gone. No, he didn't go for a mod. He just put, like, laughing faces. That's it. I've literally just checked. They're having banter, it's fine. As long as he's fine. As long as he's not being rude, that's absolutely fine for him to stay. It's absolutely fine for him to stay. He wasn't... He had, Neat, come on, don't do this. Inbox me. If you want to talk to me about it, then inbox me. No, we're not... I can't win. <laughs> I literally can't win. Everyone get to the bunker because I'm about to have a rant. 10 seconds, 30 seconds. Exactly. No. But it was laughing faces. Oh, come on. Get your backsides to the bunker because there's going to be a rant, okay? And it's a genuine rant. Who was that? Oh my god, go away. To take what? What's happened? Tell me what he said. 
I've not seen a comment where he's aimed anything at anybody other than the laughing faces, so please inform me what happened. He literally put two laughing faces. No, it's different. My bunker's different. This is why I, don't, I tell people to take it elsewhere. Because I don't want arguments on the platform. Right, I've checked that comment. Let me take a picture of that. This is getting out of control and it's ridiculous now. Can't do anything. Can't do right for doing wrong. I honestly can't. Alexa, play. I'm doing okay for time. I can stay on until three o'clock, that's okay if I need to. There's literally nothing. Alex has literally done nothing to me. He's not said anything to me. Not in this live anyway. If something's happened in a different life, then you need to inform me. But what do you expect me to do? <sighs> right. Alexa, off. This is a serious thing. Okay? This is serious what I'm about to talk about. This is not a laughing matter. Okay? Now, when I do my platform, the bunker's open, okay? When I do my platform, I am not biased. I am not, I, I am, like, partial. Um, I don't stand for any hate. I don't stand for, you know, derogatory behaviour. I don't stand for racism. I don't stand for ableism, um, transphobia, um, oh, homophobia, any of that sort. Now... Okay, if I find out that somebody has done something and it fits within those categories, okay, and it makes people or my moderators, especially my moderators, when I've got moderators who are part of that community, right, um, just let me finish, if I am aware of that, I will deal with that and it's not allowed, okay, up until today, I had no idea, no idea of the things that this person has said. How do you expect me to react when I have not seen anything and I have no idea? Hmm? How do, you, how do you expect me to react? Right? I don't care if you gift me big, gift me small, don't gift me at all, if you just tap the screen. Right? Everything's appreciated. But the second I find out that your behaviour has made people who are my moderators uncomfortable and it's aimed, right? And it's aimed... At, I'm turning the comments off because I can't concentrate while people are talking shit. Right? The second I find out... Right? The second that my moderators are not comfortable with somebody being in this room because of their behaviour, guess what? 
we make a joint decision. That's what I was talking about in the group chat. We were talking about the decision. What are we going to do about this situation? Because obviously the person in question has gifted big before and dropped treasure boxes, which I am appreciative of. But the second somebody does that type of behaviour, they're out. They're out. I'm sorry, but that's it. Okay? I don't stand for it. Okay? I don't care. Yes, it's very appreciative that he gifted me that. Okay? Very appreciative of it. Okay? I'm very appreciative of it. But that gifting does not have any wave or sway on whether I keep somebody in the room or not when I find out certain information. That was what I was talking about, okay? That's what I was texting about in the mod chat. We collectively, as a group, decided to stand by the moderator's wish, okay? That's what we decided to do, okay? Because we don't stand by any of that behaviour. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to carry on with the show because people seem to be going out of their way today to be ruining it. Alexa, off. The Observer, providing you with the latest TikTok drama from across the UK.